In this video, I am hiring designers on Fiverr to customize my channel. Let's start from the beginning. If you are an habitual viewer, you know what my content is about. If you are new, welcome! My channel focuses on gaming, mobile gaming in the specific. It's very new, I've opened it a couple months ago, so you can imagine that a newbie like me had no clue where to start. But learning something from scratch is always fun, especially when you take a look back and see the progress and how bad you were at the beginning. But it's okay, this channel started for fun, mostly to keep myself busy, because, as many others out there, my routine has been greatly impacted by the ongoing Covid pandemic. So today I teamed up with Fiverr to show you how easy it can be to give a more professional look to your channel or website or social media page or anything else. Anyway, I guess we should begin with a new logo for the channel. This is my previous one. Very cute, but I need something simpler, minimalist, that can fit the target of this channel. And to do that, we simply need to type fiverr.com on Google, and once we are on the website, we search the gig that we are looking for. Let's type, for example, logo design. 140,000 results. Ok, I think we finally selected something, and this is really good for several reasons. First, the portfolio looks really good. I like the style and the immediate sense of communication that those type of minimalist logos can convey to the audience. Second, oh my god, the price is extremely low. $25 for two initial logo concepts, of which I will choose one. Source files are included so you will be able to work on it later on or ask anybody else to do that for you, PNGs and pretty much any other format you want or you could just export it by yourself having the source files of course, and most importantly unlimited revisions. I cannot point out enough how this last aspect is important. I highly suggest to hire artists who offer a good amount of revisions, so if you want to modify something or if some aspects of the design does not convince you, you can always ask the artist to take another look at it in order to match it better to your tastes and needs. So let's buy this package, thanks Fiverr for sponsoring this video, and let's now answer to the questions of the insertionist and write down all of our ideas so she can start working on this. Here I am essentially describing the focus of the channel, the target audience, um, what I like to see and why, and you need to know that my channel is inspired by the movie franchise John Wick. First of all, I really love Keanu Reeves, he's one of my favorite actors. Then, because my nickname in the game that I play the most is John Wick, and people know me that way, so I thought, why not? The jokes about John Wick's dog are a lot, and that's why I chose my previous logo to include a dog. And as I want something more adamant this time, I thought to change the cute pitbull for a wolf-looking dog like a Siberian husky. So I simply select a photo for the artist, I attach it to my message and click on start order. Easy, no? We now just need to wait for her to deliver something. Two days later. So, a couple days later, she sent me a first draft. Let's take a look at it together. This is the 3D mockup of the first concept, and this is the second. I have to say, I very much prefer the second one, the one with the dog in profile. I think it's very well done and matches my requests. So what I'm gonna do now is to draw some little things on the picture that Helen, the designer, can modify to make it look even better. First of all, I really like the shards on the left side of the dog, like if the image is somehow breaking apart, deconstructing, but I do think they should be disposed in a more compact way and maybe go from the bigger ones to the smaller ones, from right to left, as they are fading out, so to say. Another small detail will be the eye. I think it's a bit narrow, so maybe adding a contour to it, leaving maybe some black inside 
can give the logo a more desired look. Here, I wrote that I really like the shape, but I honestly don't know what it wants to communicate. At first, it seemed like the dog was in a sitting position and that was the perimeter of the fur, but then I immediately realized that it meant to be an open mouth. And when you cannot tell exactly what it is, it's obvious that it needs to be adjusted or changed in some shape or form. So I went ahead, congratulated her for the work she's done so far and sent her my first revision request. Afterwards, I sent her another couple requests to adjust the W of Wig Gaming and give it a more square look as well, and this is the final result. I really like it. I think she has done an excellent job and she just charged $25, which is crazy. It was so cheap and I honestly did not expect such a great work for such a small price. Well done, Helen. You will find her gig linked in the video description down below. What's next? I think a good intro is necessary. This is the previous one that I made myself. Again, please don't judge. I'm not a designer of any sort, shape or form. I just experimented a bit with my iPad and created a short animation that included my old logo, an amazing drawing of John Wick that a friend of mine made and the logo of the game I was playing. So let's take a quick look at this gig presentation, which belongs to Studio Deal, which I suppose being a studio of designers, that is very common to find on Fiverr as well. Start promoting your business in a new way with animated logos. We'll help you tell your brand out loud. And animation videos are a great way to showcase your business, products, services, and provide a special offer. Okay, looking at this gig, considering the portfolio and the huge amount of animation that they will provide you for such a cheap price, I guess I'll go for it. I mean, we are talking about 7 different 3D 4K animations with sound effects. So let's go to checkout, where we see they have a bunch of other extras you can add to your gig if you ever need them. Let's confirm and pay, and like before, let's write down the specifics we need. First of all, let's attach all the PNGs, vector and source files of the logo I want them to animate. In this case, I will simply send them the files that the previous designer made for me. Nothing more easy than that. I am then answering the questions of the form and after confirming, we just need to wait for the first delivery. The next day. Here we are back with the first delivery. We have downloaded the files and the first thing I notice opening them on my LumaFusion is that the frames per second are all over the place. We have 25 FPS, 30 FPS, 29.97 FPS and honestly, if you are rendering your animation in 4K, it's not optimal. You will have a better perception of quality at 1080p but with 60 frames per second than this. It's like gaming in 1080p at 60 FPS, then upgrading to a 4K monitor, but your graphics card isn't as good as needed and you drop down to 30 FPS or less. The result is that you just wasted money on your monitor, because trust me, you will go back to the 1080p one, because the result is just better. Anyway. I will now show you some of the animations he sent me and I will tell you my impressions about them.
So, as you probably could notice, a common problem shared by almost all of the animations is the sound. Many times it is cut off instead of fading out and in some cases it's not well coordinated with the animation itself. Other than that, some of the animations just stick with the picture there on the screen for several seconds without closing it, maybe dipping it or any other sort of closing transitions. That's what my revision is going to be about. So adjusting the sound, the closing transitions and maybe reducing the length to some of the animations. The optimal length for an intro is for me around 6-7 seconds. It does not need to be very long, otherwise people will be sick of it very soon. It just needs to present your brand in a quick and effective way. So yeah, let's send this and let's wait for the results. Two days later. So here we are back. I've asked for both the revisions and each of them took one day. So two days later we have the final results. Let's take a look at them together. Oh yeah, I really love the second one. Which one do you prefer? Comment in the section down below. Overall, I am very pleased with the results and my Fiverr experience considering all the factors. Price, delivery time, but especially the amount of gigs on the website you can choose from. Literally, some people will say and do whatever you want them to. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Ciao!